So, we were also talking about M Health um, in our workshop. Uh, we defined M Health as being about life, about the intersection of living mobile and living healthy. And we talked about some trends that we can see data streams, sensors everywhere, info visualization, social networks coming together. We can see a lot of this in products that are on the market today. And this is creating a lot of data, and sometimes we can feel that we are in a sea of data and it doesn't make any sense, or it's not helping us to make sense of our lives. Um, and in fact, we, we can map out this emerging uh, health data ecosystem um, that crosses together the professional healthcare system with uh, consumers generating and sharing and discussing uh, health data. And what we see is that uh, today, the basics are starting to come into place. So the basics are being able to collect uh, and aggregate and store uh, data, health-relevant data, and be having places where you can view and interact with that. But that, for us, is, is purely the basics, purely the foundation. Um, and the real meaning and value in this ecosystem comes from correlation and transformation and sharing and discussion around the data that's generated. And that is still very much an emerging or not even emerging. Not enough is emerging here. Um, and this is clearly an area of great opportunity. So we decided to focus on that. These were our end users. Gertrude just learned she got pregnant. Edward, her husband, nearly had a heart attack, literally, when he heard about it. And uh, their sister-in-law, Marie, would like to help them. Um, we came up with, uh, with uh, three solutions in the workshop, thinking about uh, this triangle, this family triangle. One was about creating new kinds of intimate objects that give us a kind of continuous awareness of the health status of uh, our loved ones. Another concept, love is in the app, love the name, uh, was about a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, health monitoring and communication platform. So there's been a lot of talk uh, and a lot of activity in the last 20 years about remote monitoring and communication, but it's been very much based on data from patients going to physicians. This was purely sharing information amongst a circle of care that is non-professional. And then the uh, third concept was about giving time. Edward and, and, and Gertrude are both stressed. They both need to reduce their stress. They've got a lot going on in their life. And so one of the nicest things that you could gift them, that Marie could gift them, that their other friends and family could give them, is their time. So it's a time bank uh, to, to offer practical help to people who need to reduce the stress in their lives. So I thought it was great that the same uh, brief, exactly the same brief, uh, led in three totally different directions and that they were all about creating meaning and value for people out of the data rather than focusing on the data itself. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. So